Well, I have to say, this is a very strange savanna biome. It's like a savanna island. There's more over there. We got some wild pumpkins. I'm starting to think that these armadillos don't exist. Unless I'm in the wrong biome, but I don't think... Oh! There it is. Hello. Wow. So cute. So I believe all I do is brush it. Oh, and there it is. Armadillo scoot. Wow. Oh, I can do it again. How many times can I do it? Oh, wow. I didn't know you could do it so many times. And then that's... I'm glad I brought two brushes. Okay, and now I have... So then I make a crafting table. Oh, and there it is. Okay, so it takes six scoot. And there's wolf armor. So this... Can you just scoot them indefinitely? Well, I was gonna fly home, but then I thought I might as well bring these guys with me. So I got two armadillos to bring back home. Pretty good water skiers. All right, so I made it back with our little friends and I'm gonna have to build these two a little house or something. Little armadillo crib. All right, for now, I'm going to leave them right here. And now we can get started on what I want to do today, which is going to be working on the vault. So I have all the loot from the end from the last episode. And I'll definitely be going back. But before we work on the vault, I got a little surprise dog needs. Whoa! Okay, that color looks a little weird, but you'll be protected now. So that's good. All right, now that we have end rods, I want to light this place up finally. Yeah, look at that. Oh, this looks great. Oh, it looks like fluorescent lighting too. It just looks so good. I think this is going to be the main lighting source for the vault. I really, I think this is great. Okay, now that I have that taken care of, um, for today, and I'll probably do, I'll end up doing more too, but I want to get started on building an elevator at the end of the hallway because I'm still pretty high up, you know, level 60. Um, and I need to go deeper, especially to give myself more building space too. So I am going to build an elevator at the end of the hallway that drops down and then I can get started working on um, more of the interior of the vault versus this is kind of where you just walk in the entrance um, so yeah, I'm going to get started on that. I wonder if I should add any more lighting. Oh, that looks so cool. Oh, I should put it like this. There we go. Hello. Cool. So I'm going to get started on that. And I'll update you guys with my progress. All right, here is a little bit of a progress report. Um, I went and grabbed a lot of different materials so that I can continue working on the vault. A lot of sand, a lot of gray concrete powder, a lot of andesite and diorite. I've just been doing a couple things here and there too in between working on the elevator. So I added some more lighting. Um, I changed up the design a little bit and it's very lit up in here now. I'm gonna obviously be getting rid of these furnaces and 
everything, but I'm just using it now because I'm working on it. I also went ahead and changed dog meat's armor color to white. Um, I think it looks a little bit better. Uh, I still might mess around with it though. And here is the elevator so far. So I dropped it down one level and tried to make it a little bit more compact. And here is the design that I came up with. I, I really like it. It reminds me of an elevator, but kind of futuristic at the same time. And I'm going to have a dropper right here to get down and a bubble elevator on the other side to get back up. So I'm going to keep working though and hopefully have another progress report for you guys and just show you what's going on. But yeah. All right. So I just finished working on the elevator and I want to show you guys how cool this thing is. And this is how we're going to get down into the vault. Um, so you come in and on the left is the dropper and on the right is the bubble elevator going back up. So let's drop down. Ooh, spooky. Land in some water and then boom, that is the bottom of the elevator. So then I walk through the door and there's a huge cave here. And it's funny, this is actually um, a cave that I explored way earlier on in this series and it happens to be right here so I, I thought that was like a really crazy coincidence but I also noticed that my brothers have a spawn right here my slime so I need to build out of half slabs just for the atrium and then I can switch back to normal blocks but yeah um this is the atrium or this is going to be where it's at and then when you walk past the atrium you're going to be into different sections of the vault so we're going to have like a crop field right here um there's going to be just a bunch of stuff down here so i think i'm really excited to get working on it and kind of hard to explain exactly my vision but i think once you guys see it um it'll start making more sense so i'm gonna get working on that and hopefully have uh more of a progress for you guys so jeez look at all these guys Ow. um i also died when i was <laughs> making the bubble elevator i drowned so that's why i have no levels <sighs> Right, I have been hard at work and I actually went on a trip and I just got back and I finished the atrium of the vault so when we come down the elevator this is what we are greeted with and then I'm gonna put some doors on some of the sides here and when you walk through this entrance right here this will be Again, where the farm and other parts of the vault are going to be. I've been collecting a lot of supplies too down here. So, out of deep slate, I'm actually out of andesite. Um, this took pretty much that full shulker box that I had. It took all of it. So, I need to go get more of that. But I do want to check out the new tough block because I had a feeling that this block was gonna look pretty good. Oh, that's cool. Polished tough. Nice, okay, and then we have tough bricks too, so I'll take. Can I not, can I not make those? Um. Okay, there we go, okay. Okay, let's see what these look like. Oh, that's nice. Okay, so I can definitely incorporate these into the vault somehow. I'm just not sure how yet, but this is another nice gray block. Um, yeah, it's nice to have like a purpose for tough now, which is what I was really excited about. But I am going to be checking out this update a lot more in another episode. But I do want to try and finish working on 
more of the vault. Um, I also made it so slimes can't spawn down here, which is really good. That was a big headache. And I guess that's what happens when you build in a slime chunk. So hopefully don't have to worry about that anymore. The slime chunk is like right here. So um, that's over with. Yeah, I think it's coming along pretty good. I'm kind of just designing what I think looks good. And then I come into survival and I make it. So, oh, that just got really dark. That was weird. So, yeah, uh, I'm going to keep trucking along, though. So I will keep updating as I go. I built a window. So I was down here trying to figure out a design for some windows to go in. And this is what I came up with. So I'm using the new tough blocks, um, the polished tough. And then I have glass panes behind it. And it's nice when you use stairs and slabs because it doesn't connect. So that's a nice look. Um, I kind of want to have these all over the place. And I think this is the example that I'm going to do throughout the vault. Um, and then I put a door right here. And this is going to lead up to the overseer's office, which I'm going to put right there. So I think that'll look good. I have a little bit of space to build something back here. So um, decided I think that'll be a good fit right there. So and then I've been just been working on a couple other things, trying to figure out the design. Here's the other side of the window. And for the courtyard, this is what I have so far. I am running out of andesite again. I went and snagged a couple stacks, but I am already running out. And then the grass, I put some grass into. And the wheat field is going to go right on this side. I'm going to try and make it look like the show, but then I'm also going to put my own twist on it, too. So I'm going to have to design, you know, the scaffolding right here um, and a couple other things. The uh, little bunker that Norman hides in, I want to build that and then put like a villager down there. So, yeah, um, right now, though, I want to try and figure out a window design for the overseer's window right here. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, so I just got an idea. I was looking at the different trap doors in the game and I just realized that we have copper trap doors. So I'm gonna try and make this out of copper um, because it's the first real metal trap door that we can use besides the iron trap door, which can only be powered by a redstone mechanic or um, a button or you know what I mean? So I'm going to try and come up with a design for copper and see if that looks good. I think the exposed looks probably the best, uh, but I might try like weathered looks pretty good too, but I don't want it to be, I don't think I want it to look like copper and I don't think I want it to look too o oxidized either. So I'm going to smelt up some kappa and try that. Let's see what it looks like. Not bad. Okay. Pretty good. Yeah, I like that. It's a little big, but I think it fits pretty well down in the vault. Okay, cool. And I just put some lighting back there so I could really um, illuminate it right now. But I'm going to be obviously changing that. I just wanted to see if it looked good. I think that looks pretty good. It looks like a circle. And that will be the overseer's office. So now we can design the office. And that the overseer will live in and look down on everybody. 
but yeah, cool. That looks pretty good. Okie dokie, I have been busy. Um, so I made the stairs leading up to the office and I finished the office too. I just have to design it. And then I copied the window on the other side as well. Um, and then I also made a little bedroom back here. So I need to finish decorating. Um, and once I do that, we will be done with the overseer's office and hopefully I, I might put a villager in here too today. I'm not sure yet, but I'm going to get working on that now. Well, looks like we captured one of these little guys and this is going to be the new overseer. I just realized we haven't named the vault. Not really sure what name to give it. Welcome to your new home, friend. You're gonna love it here. Okay, nice. This is actually working out a lot better than I thought it was going to. Welcome to your new home. This is exciting. Very good. All right, you guys, I am finished with the overseer's office. So I want to show you guys what I've been up to. So this is the office when you walk in. I forgot that they added a bunch of new paintings. So I decided to put those on the wall and I think they look really good. This is the uh, overseer's desk and right here, I'm actually going to put a honey block. Oh, that looks crazy with RTX. And if we do some trap doors around it, he will not be able to jump out of there. So once I get him stuck in there, um, he'll be there forever. So that'll be good. And he's got his lectern. He's got his coffee. Uh, I put a jukebox out here, a nice seating area, a little table, some lighting in the ceiling. And when you go through this door, this is the bedroom. I think it turned out pretty good. Um, another one of the new paintings. I think it looks really good. Um, I think that's a new one too. So then I put the poppy next to the poppy. Another couch area with the table and his little um, dresser with a like a jacket stand or you know and then here is the librarian that I captured and I got him to trade mending so that's great um, took a while to get but who better yet to run the vault than a librarian that has mending so yeah this is what I've been working on and this is the first part of the vault done the overseer's office. If you guys have any other things that you'd like to see me add, um, I'm totally down. I am actually out of end rods, so I'm gonna have to go back to the end and snag a couple. I couldn't finish this because I don't have enough. So I think in the next video, we are going to work on the uh, courtyard area um, with the wheat farm and the shack and then we can start expanding the vault this way and this way but yeah I think it's turning out really great so far I'm really pleased with the uh, progress here but got our cool window design We've got the overseer's window all done that's really starting to feel like a vault down here so really pleased with everything um, yeah, what do you guys think? What name should I give the Overseer? Um, maybe one of you guys. 
you guys want me to name the overseer your name, uh, let me know in the comments because I'll go ahead and pick one and name the overseer after one of you guys and you will be in charge of running my vault. <laughs> Hopefully you're a good overseer. But I think that's probably going to end it for today's episode. Um, sorry that this video took a long time to make. I had a lot of things going on in real life. But I should be back to a normal somewhat schedule of uploading because um, we have a lot of work to do on the vault. So if you enjoyed the video, be sure to like and subscribe. It really does help me out, you guys. And I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.